So I'll go to quote of the week. I think you guys will like this one. Punctuation is powerful. An English professor wrote uh, the words on the blackboard, a woman without her man is nothing on the whiteboard uh, and asked his students to punctuate it correctly. All the males in the class wrote a woman, comma, without her man, comma, is nothing. All the females in the class wrote a woman, colon, without her, comma, man is nothing. <laughs> <laughs> punctuation is powerful. <laughs> so definitely get your punctuation in the right place so that uh, everybody communicates well with one another. And one of the things that I've taught in different classes is that definitions are amazing. And one word, one phrase to one person can be an entirely definite an entirely different definition than it would be for someone else. So I would say be very careful with your assumptions when you are listening to people. You should always ask them what their understanding is and let them feed that back to you so that you are not assuming that what they are saying is what you think they're saying. Uh, so I'm good with, uh, and I teach that you should ask questions, ask questions, ask questions, ask questions. Don't be a teller, be an asker and be a, become a master asker uh, so that when you master that, you will really have the alignment with the customer that you have. And customers, of course, come in many forms. They come as buyers. They come as sellers. They come as supporters. They come as lenders. So you want to definitely ask the right questions of those folks and see what they feed back to you before you're just upchucking information on them. All right. So that's, hey, Lou. that's some advice. Yes, sir. Yeah, just following up on your punctuation, it punctuated correctly. I remember one time you, me, and Bruce were on a three-way call, and I had thought we I had found a, a bad punctuation in one of the pieces of paperwork that you have in the contract. So I asked you about it. I think I wanted it to be a period, not a comma. And when I said that, both you and Lou at the Lou and Bruce at the same time yelled out. No, don't change it. <laughs> and it's like, okay, because it changes the meaning of it. Meaning of the whole, whole sentence. Ron, thank you for pointing that out. You are so right. And that was a great experience because as you were reading it, that was your definition of it. <laughs> and Bruce and I said, no, that comma is there for a reason. <laughs> So uh, that's, a, that's a great learning exercise. Thank you for sharing that. 